Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with an assembly video for one of our die sets. This is die number 1105, the Rocket Pop-Up, and you can check out all of our die designs at KarenBerniston.com. The mechanism for the Rocket Pop-Up raises it quite high in the air and then also kind of tilts it forward a little bit, so it's almost like it gets a little extra boost. I'll be making this card in the video today, pretty simple little Rocket card also features our new space charms and the enjoy the ride word set. There are eight dies in the set and I definitely suggest that you grab all of those paper scraps and put them on your platform and cut a lot of those pieces at one time. Now you can use any die cutting machine that can accommodate a wafer thin die and today I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum 6. With this die set nothing has to be double cut so if you just cut every piece one time you have everything that you need. So my favorite adhesive is my Line Code Neutral pH adhesive in my fine tip bottle, and we do sell those items on our website, including the blue tip 20 gauge bottle, empty, and then the yellow 18 gauge tips. I'm going to start by completely assembling the rocket. So for that, I like to coat that bottom area of the rocket with adhesive and get the flame into the adhesive and then cover that up with the decorator piece so that the flame is sandwiched between the two layers. Next, I'll put on the decorator pieces to change the color of the rocket fins. So just coating those areas with adhesive. And then another tool, we do sell this on our website as well, that I like is a quick stick. So with quick stick, you can just pick those pieces up and just put them right down into the adhesive. The rocket cuts a hole in the center and then there are two circle dies that are meant to decorate that. So there's a ring and then a solid circle. Now you could just layer those on top of each other and then glue it on the front of the rocket but my favorite is actually to do the ring on the front and the solid on the back. And by doing that, that's how you could do something like having something peering through the window. The solid circle has a score line that corresponds to the size of the opening. So if you were stamping that with something or adding an embellishment, just keep it within the score line and then you know it will be visible through the window. So I put the glue on the front of the rocket for the ring and on the back of the rocket for the solid circle. And in today's card, I'm not going to have anything sandwiched between those layers. And you can always assemble these rockets and use them independent of the pop-up. The bottom pop-up portion is shaped like the moon. It has a score line up the middle. I fold that like a mountain. Then it has score lines along the tabs at the bottom. So I fold those away from myself like mountains as well. And then there's one last little tab on the back that would fold up. So basically everything's a mountain fold. Okay, and then the pieces that get glued down are the long tabs on the bottom, so I would coat those with adhesive and put them inside a card. The rocket fits great in an A2 size card or greater, so I started with cardstock 8.5 by 5.5, scored in the middle for folding, and then to that I added two paper panels, each of them 4 inches by 5 and a quarter. The pop-up can go anywhere along the fold, but you probably want to be closer to the top so that the rocket has room in the card in the closed position and that it can fly kind of up and out of the card. So I'm going to coat the two tabs underneath with adhesive. And then what's nice about this pop-up is you actually get to just put it in in that flat position. So just kind of flatten it out. Make sure that the center fold is right on the center fold of the card. Again, you're choosing your location. And just go ahead and press down those two tabs. So really simple to add this to the card. You can see on the back that they should meet in the fold. The edges of those little tabs meet in the fold and you still have the shorty tab on the side. That should still be folded upward. It doesn't have any adhesive on it yet. Now what shorty tab is going to be used for is to hold on the upper part of the pop-up platform, which is the flames. So starting at the front, I look for the first score line and then the second score line. And by folding both of those as mountains, I'm going to create this little upside down letter T. And then the last score line is a vertical one that brings the reinforcer flames over to match the inside part. Okay, so after working all three of the folds as mountains, I'm going to open the piece back up and looking at the long side, I want to glue shorty tab right there in to that long piece. Okay, so I put the adhesive on the back of shorty tab and then that's the long section. I go in there and just make sure that it's all the way to the bottom. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be sandwiching shorty tab between the two layers when I glue them together. So I can even fold it over to kind of help me make sure that I get good placement. But what I'm looking to do is to have that tab basically glued so that the flames come all the way to the base of the card 
and shorty tab is just inside there. Okay, and then now to sandwich that together, I just need the glue all over the other side, everywhere along the flames and everything, because this is just basically a reinforcing panel. So it's going to fold over and make the back section of flames very strong, and it's also in the process going to hide shorty tab. So just pressing that down real well so that it's basically shellacked together and hiding the tab in between the two layers. Okay, so bringing that up and over, because there's two little folds at the top to make the upside down T, then you have a cut at the bottom with a decorative flame that will go on the front and the area around the decorative flame will actually glue to the back. So you would want the glue on the back of the decorative flame, but on the front of the area around the flame. And then you just need to look down, make sure that you're going basically straight across from the back section. So you're just doing this by eye and go in there and pinch that so that it is attached to the front section of the moon. So from the side, here's how it's going to look. Okay, the first time I close this, it's probably not going to come down on its own. Okay, so you're gonna to have to give it a little training by pushing it closed. Once the rocket gets on it, then you won't have to do any more training. This is just such a simple assembly. So if you're looking for a pop-up die that you can get from paper to pop-up really fast, the rocket is a good choice for that. Now the adhesive is gonna go all over the top part of the platform. So that upside down letter T is going to get the glue. My favorite location to add the rocket is the edge of the rocket itself. So the silver in my case. So below the platform will be that black thruster piece and the flame. So you can see there it's just glued up behind the rocket. Now it should start working no problem. You will no longer have to give it any training. Now I'm noticing not much of a boost and I realized what it was is my left side of my platform had come up a little bit. I tried to go in and glue it and then I kind of ripped the paper. So this is what I ended up doing. I just added a staple. So that's something that you can do. Just go in and staple right on the fold if you either messed something up or your glue's not wanting to stick. This is especially why I like to do the insides of the cards before the outside and that way I can cover that staple with my front decoration. A great add-on set to the Rocket Pop-Up would be the Space Charms. Now with all of our charm sets, you have the option to actually take off the hole at the top, just use a pair of scissors. That way they just become elements. And I had an idea I wanted to try where I added a piece of fishing line up under the flame of the rocket and then down to behind the alien ship. The alien ship is only connected at the two feet of the ship and that way it can raise up as the rocket flies up in the air. And then I realized I had enough room on the fishing line to put two little green men just kind of back to back around the fishing line and then he would actually just float in the air as the rocket launches. And then I also added the astronaut charm on a pop dot to the front of the rocket. And then if you're looking for an all around greeting that works great with the rocket, consider the enjoy the ride die set. Now the way this works is that you cut the enjoy the ride and the oval out of a solid piece and then you use the oval again, sinking in the piece that has the the and then cut those at the same time. And what it'll do is it'll make a knockout oval so that the the is holes and then you glue that to the solid one and then kind of create the greeting. So I'm actually done with my card. Really simple design here. I added the enjoy the ride and a crosshatch rectangle to the inside so I'd have a place to sign the card. One more little green man. And then another alien ship with the little green man, another crosshatch rectangle and the moon on the front of the card. Remember, you always get to choose your card size. So this is a class card that I taught that's five by six horizontal card and it fits just fine. Okay, and let's finish out the video by looking at a few ideas by our very talented design team. Okay, check out this window card by Lois Bach. And this is a good example of how altering the weight of the materials you choose can make a difference in how the pop-up operates. So Lois went with a little bit lighter weight cardstock for her flames and a very lightweight paper for the moon. And because of that, she gets a huge amount of travel to her rocket. So she gives up a little bit of height for all of that travel. The whole galaxy colors of this card by Karen Aiken are incredible. And I love how she even has like kind of the earth reflected in the window of the rocket as well as in the faceplate of the astronaut. Sandy Diller made this great dad's rocket fuel card. So perfect. And look at how her astronaut is actually floating out in space. 
Kelly Booth made this breast cancer support card using the rocket. What a wonderful idea. And she's used some cute stamps from Riley and company. I love how Fran Sabad has the alien ship beaming up the other little aliens on this happy birthday enjoy the ride card. The pop-up moon can be used flat along the bottom as a border, and you can see that perfectly in this birthday card by Francis Byrne. I actually don't know the name of this type of card, but it's super cool. So Karen Aiken has the rocket on a round track, and then it spins around. And then a very clever adaptation by Frances Byrne, where she covered up the flames and the moon with some cloud shapes, and then she put a plane up on top instead of the rocket. The Rocket Pop-Up die set, as well as the other accessories that you've seen in the video, will be available starting mid-July 2019. Thanks for watching. If you click on the website link, you'll go to KarenBurniston.com, where you can find out information about purchasing these dies, as well as links to all my other social media accounts. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.